Let's talk about sorting. One of the most common tasks that happens in programming is sorting an array of data. There are many different ways to perform sorts, and often one algorithm will be faster in certain situations or the other. We're not going to go into a big performance test here because that's outside the scope of this tutorial. Today, we're just going to pick one and talk about how to implement it. The algorithm we're going to talk about? The simple, venerable bubble sort. Let's say you have an array of data. To keep this short and easy, we're just going to use numbers. Here's an array of random values. So we've got this list of numbers, but it's currently randomly ordered. We want to organize it. To do that, we're going to use a bubble sort. The way this type of sort works is, it iterates through the array and compares position 0 to position 1. If the item in position 1 should come before the item in position 0, it swaps them. Once it's passed through the entire array, it loops back to the beginning and repeats. Sound a little confusing? Here, take a look at how it does it. Copy this real quick. So first it looks at these two. It doesn't need to make a swap there because 2 is less than 9. So it takes a look at these two. It does need to make a swap there because 9 is greater than 6. So it swaps. Like that. Then it looks at the third set. 9 is greater than 3, so it swaps again. Next set, 9 is greater than 5, swap again. Next set, 9 is greater than 7, swap again. Next set, 9 is greater than 1, swap again. 9 is greater than 4, swap again. And 9 is greater than 8, swap again. So long as it runs that loop once for every entry in the array, the sort will work. That does mean, though, that it may run the loop several more times even once the array is actually sorted. That can introduce performance issues, making large sorts of this type not always the most performant option. But for small data sets like this, it's a great and straightforward way to sort data. As you can see, we now have an example of what the array would look like after the first pass of the bubble sort is done. It's bubbled 9 all the way to the end, but the rest of the list is still out of order. The next pass would bubble 8 all the way to the second to last position. The third pass would bubble 7 to the third to last, and so on. The simplest way to do this is with a for loop that just executes the sort, itself another for loop, exactly as many times as there are items in the array. The first pass bubbles the last item all the way to the end, the second pass bubbles the second to last item, and so forth. Let's write some code to do it. So what are we doing here? First we're making a copy of the incoming array to work on, array variable destructuring. Then we begin the loop that will run nine times. Inside that loop, we initiate a second. Remember that the way for loops work means that the internal loop will execute all of its loops before the external loop moves on to its second one. The length of our array is nine, so when i is equal to zero, the x loop will execute eight times. That's copy.length minus i minus one, which is 9 minus 0 minus 1. Then i will be 1, and the x loop will run again, this time executing 7 times, 9 minus 1 minus 1. It always takes one less iteration than the length of the array to have checked all of the adjacent pairs, and then one less iteration each subsequent time since you know you can ignore the stuff that's already been properly bubbled. The actual swapping code is pretty simple. We just create two variables storing the numbers in the two positions we're comparing, then copy them over each other. Of course, we only do this if the numbers need to be swapped. This is the heart of the sort, and this is where you'd write a whole bunch of other code if you were, say, sorting a list of album titles by alphabetical order. That'd be a whole lot more complicated, but the principle's the same. Evaluate if the two items need to be swapped, and if so, swap them. Let's see our results. Once again, a typo fails me. Save that. There we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's the famous bubble sort. Straightforward, really, and a good algorithm to be familiar with. Interested in learning more sorting algorithms or other JavaScript patterns? Just reply on YouTube and let me know. See you next week.